Good morning. And today I am back with our five minute daily devotion. I'm KM Johnson Davis, the executive director and founder of KM Davis Ministries. And today I come to you with another scripture. We are going to be reading from Luke 17, verse five. And it's very simple. It says, and the apostles said unto the Lord, increase our faith. The apostles said unto the Lord, increase our faith. That's it. That's the scripture. So what are we talking about here? Well, Jesus was talking to the, the disciples and he was telling them about forgiveness. He was telling them that if, uh, if someone comes to you and they do something wrong to you and then they come back and repent of it, you should forgive them. If they do it seven times in one day and they repent seven times, then you should forgive them each time. That it's not, it doesn't matter how often the person does something wrong. It's your ability to forgive. And when they heard that, they were like, look, we know that we can't do this without you, Lord. I mean, okay, I, I don't know about you, but I feel the same way. And so they said, Lord, increase our faith, increase our faith. And instead of him saying, okay, your faith is increased, he started to tell them that um, all they had to have was faith, a grain of a mustard seed, and they could speak to the sycamine tree. Oh, does this sound familiar? We were talking about this the past couple of days. It's not about the amount of faith that you have. It's not about your faith being increased, but sometimes it's just about your belief and your, your willingness to obey, your obedience. And so I think what he's talking about here, when Jesus kind of distract, detracts from what the question was, and then he starts talking about the faith itself and what faith is able to do, he's really saying, you know, well, how obedient are you? What is faith? My Bible says that faith is the total dependence on God and the willingness to do his will. Do you have that? Do you have a willingness to do the will of God? Or is your will getting in the way? Are you uh, being led by your flesh? Oh, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, huh? <laughs> Are we moving according to the things that we desire versus the things that God desires of us? And the way that you know whether or not you're moving according to the will of God versus your will is very simple. Most of the time, the things that we want to do in our will is actually not according to the word of God. Um, most of the time, our flesh is really not in alignment with the word. Most of the time, our flesh is in alignment with the things of the world, the things that um, that the, the Lord speaks against in his word. Yesterday, we talked about faith coming by hearing. So the more you hear his word, the more you're able to do what it is that God would have you to do, the more you're able to understand what it is that he is wanting and asking of you. Again, faith is not simply something that gives you the strength to forgive, but faith is something that gives you the, the, uh, the, the ability to do what it is that God is calling you to do. Again, it's the willingness, it's the willingness to do God's will. It's, it's the obedience to, you know, the, the willingness to walk in obedience and do what it is that God is asking of you. So I hope today's five minute daily devotion has been helpful. We're going to take it a little bit step further. And I just want to pray for you really quick before we go. All right. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just ask that you touch the heart of the person on the other end of my voice, the one that's hearing this on today, Lord, wherever they may be and whatever they may be going through, Lord, help their faith to be increased like the disciples. Give them the opportunity and the ability to forgive when needed, Lord. Give them the ability and the uh, the willingness to do your will, Father. Lord, help them to be obedient and walk in all the things that you have called them to. Lord, let them not become distracted by the things of this world and the things that are going on around them, Father, but help them to remain focused on you and your will. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you so much again for joining me on today. And I will see you again tomorrow. Remember, we're doing this for 90 days. So hang in there with me. All right. Share it with a friend. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Look, I threw that in there. <laughs> Have a great day. I love you all. And I will talk to you next time.